have zero looking over towards the left hand side. So I'm gonna sketch out my small circle. I make about the size of like a golf ball or a ping pong ball, but you've got a lot more room on your paper than I do here on mine. So you can make it like the size of a cutie if you really wanted to. Uh, but I'm gonna very lightly sketch out my circle. So I'm just gonna create lots and lots of lines in here. That's really what we look for our foundation. If you don't like one side, you can always round it out until you got into the way that you like it. Uh, but within my circle, I'm also going to add in a few construction lines. Uh, these lines are going to help us anchor down the features of his face. He's not going to look straight ahead or in profile. It's what we call a three-quarter angle. Instead of having a line go right down the middle of the circle, I'm going to give my construction line more of a bend to it. Kind of like I'm cutting out like a crescent moon here along the inside here of my circle. And I'm also going to add in like this like letter U curve, curving it here. So this is already telling me that Zero is going to be having his nose up here for him as well, or pushing out his snout. Just very light and loose here for him. So you've got like a small little beach ball on your page. I will give him his collar by hopping down here at the very bottom of our circle. I'm going to draw in these two small letter C's, little baby parentheses here for his collar. And it's also something I want to keep, so I'm going back with more of a heavier line to lock it into place. I will add in that tissue body that he's got. Uh, so to add in his tissue body on the inside of the collar towards the far right hand side, I'm gonna draw in this like stretched out letter U shape. So I'm stretching this out over towards the right. And then I'm just gonna turn this into a rainbow. So it kind of looks like a balloon flying here in the wind, or you could say like it's a balloon that got lost at Disneyland, or maybe on its way to Paradise Fall as well. Uh, but to really add in uh, the rest of his body, I'm gonna hop over here towards the collar on the far left-hand side this time, and I'll add in this stretched out backward C, so stretching this out and down. Now this is gonna be his front paw, where this is his tail. So you want it to be thicker in towards the front, and it's gonna get skinnier as you get closer in towards the tail here for him. And you can even have like this like resemble the hill from the Nightmare Before Christmas, like where Jack sings his like I want song and like sadly looks at him longingly and like doesn't even know that she exists. You know, like story of my life. Um, I'm just very lightly sketching out this like stretched out letter S curve, really to curve in his body. Um, but I'm going to start to go back and really pick out my favorite lines to lock in this tissue body. As I'm locking things in, I'll tell you a little bit more about this film that came out in 1993. Somebody know who the uh, director of this film is? Tim, yeah, you're right, there is no. Uh, Tim Burton is not the director of this film. It's actually a guy named Henry Selleck who directed this film. Uh, Tim Burton was a little bit busy uh, during the making of The Nightmare Before Christmas, so he left it to one of his school buddies that he went to art school with, uh, Henry Selleck, who also directed uh, Coraline as well as James and the Giant Peach. Uh, which Jack Skellington does make brief appearances in both films. Now it is called uh, Tim Burton's Night Before Christmas because he wrote the original poem. Though the poem only featured three characters. Does anybody know what three characters I might be talking about? Monarch, Sally. No, you've got like Jack, you need Jack, the main character. And who are we drawing right now? Zero. Yeah, Zero, and you can't have Christmas without? Yeah, Santa Claus. So those only three characters from the original poem. All the other characters made up specifically for the movie. There's over like 200 some on background characters in this film. I'm going to add in his other paw peeking out from the other side. So I'm going to hop back in towards the collar on the far left. I'm going to draw on this like sideways shark fin. So I'm stretching this out and down here for him. And I'll draw in this like curve line, little curve right over towards the side here for him. You can even add 
in even like some tension lines here along the collar as well by drawing in a couple of loose like stretched out letter U shapes here for him too. All right, so now we've got like a little floating tissue with a little light bulb, it looks like. Uh, so we want to add in his sound, really add in some facial features here for Zero. Uh, to create in his sound, I'm going to hop over towards my circle and my construction line or meeting. I'm going to draw in this stretched out letter U. So I'm stretching this up and out here for him. Like he's like super proud of his nose and he wants to show it off. And then from that letter U shape, I'm gonna curve it back towards the inside of the circle. I'm gonna even give myself like a little marker for where I want that smile to sit. So I'm starting here from the side and just curving that right back here along the inside there for him. I'll even give him like a little smile line too by drawing in like a little baby rainbow shape here along the end. We can also give him an open mouth smile too. Uh, by hopping here underneath his smile, I'm gonna draw in another U curve. So I'm stretching this out and down. So this is kind of gonna look like another sharp fin shape here for him, just by curving it here along the inside here for him as well. Uh, but now at this point, we can start to go back and really pick out our favorite lines to lock in his head shape. I like to start here at his lower lip and just going to blend that right back in towards my favorite circle line. So I'm starting off skinny and getting a little bit wider as I curve it right back in towards my circle and his collar there for I'll go back and just lock in the rest of his head shape. Now, zero is actually based off of a type of breed of dog. So we know what kind of breed he might be based off of. Think of like a, like a wiener dog. Yeah, he's actually a dachshund. Yeah, so I'm just going to shade on the inside of his mouth since he doesn't have a tongue. He is like a ghost after all. Uh, but to add in his eyes, they're very much like his owners. So just like a uh, whole cutouts here along the inside of this like little handkerchief here for him. And from where they're going to sit is they're going to sit right on top of our construction line here as well. Uh, hopping over here on the left hand side, I'm going to sketch out an oval shape, kind of fits in that pocket area that we created. And hopping over on the right hand side, we're going to see more of this eye just because of the way he's turned to us. But it's still the same height, just a little bit wider there along the side. Uh, but I want to make sure that the eyes are really the darkest part here of the sketch. This is where all the attention and focus goes to is right inside those eyes. So I'm just making sure that they're really standing out nice and dark. It also really helps to wake up our character here on our page as well. I will give Zero his ears. I kind of think of them as they look like a stretched out flame of a candle here for him. Or you can also think of it as like toothpaste from like toothpaste commercials. Uh, but I'm gonna pop up here towards the top here of his head. I'm gonna draw in another stretched out letter S by adding in a stretched out rainbow shape. I'll add in a stretched out backwards letter C. And I'll add in some thickness here to his ear. So I'm gonna start here back at that point. I'm just gonna follow the same line here for him. But as I get towards the end here of the ear, I'm just gonna create in that little point there for him at the very tip of his head. And I'll just do the same thing over here uh, for his other ear as well. Uh, but we're missing one last thing here for our little ghost dog, right? What are we missing? Yeah, his nose. And do you know what his nose is? Yeah, it's a little pumpkin. He's kind of like the Halloween version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh, so to add in that little pumpkin nose here for him, really you can add in whatever kind of shape you want there for him. Uh, but I'm just drawing in like a little traditional pumpkin by adding in like a little letter C over on the left and like a little backwards one over here on the right. I'll even give my pumpkin a little stem by drawing in like a little triangle. 
And you could add whatever kind of face you want. If you wanted to, you could put like Jack Skellington. Like he's the pumpkin king after all. Uh, but I'm just going to draw in a little traditional pumpkin face here for him. Uh, but really the last step an artist needs to make though is a signature. And you can sign your name wherever you feel it fits best. And after all done, you have sketched out your very own little ghost dog named Zero.